Good afternoon. I'd like to start with a question. What would you spend a billion pounds on? It's a lot of money. It's the amount the NHS spends every year treating largely preventable hospital-acquired infection. Now, these infections are picked up in a hospital or as a result of a healthcare intervention and can range in severity from a stomach upset to blood poisoning. They challenge the very idea that healthcare is meant to make you better. Imagine, if you will, a friend, a family member, or a loved one was in hospital for a routine procedure and they picked up an infection. It was avoidable. It's not good. Now, that was a harrowing thought. Hospital-acquired infections themselves have a variety of causes. One such cause is pathogenic bacteria colonising on high-touch hospital surfaces, such as desks, sinks and bedsteads. These then inadvertently spread by clinical staff and patients. If we remove this contamination, we remove the potential for transmission. Current infection control protocol involves the use of a wet wipe to remove contamination from surfaces. Now, I'm sure you're all aware of or have used wet wipes around the home, but did you know that the people who manufacture these have a very poor understanding of how the product works? or that claims of bacterial pickup rate or kill efficiency have, are based on lab settings which have very little in common with the hospital or the home environment. Additionally, at the microscopic level, bacteria, the wipes themselves and the surfaces all have a huge array of complex structures. That's where I come in. My work aims to help fill this knowledge gap. By working as part of a multidisciplinary team, I'm investigating the fundamental factors that govern bacterial removal from surfaces by wiping. By investigating the structure, the function, and the interactions between different bacteria, different surfaces, and the wipes themselves, I'm in the process of developing a more efficient method of pathogenic removal from surfaces, as well as prevention of surface recontamination. Now, this will have the knock-on effect of increasing the effectiveness of surface disinfection and decontamination. This will reduce death, disease, and the financial burden on the NHS in a time of global austerity, with the ultimate goal of wiping out infection. Also, getting our PhD out of it is a bonus. <laughs> I'd like to leave you with a sobering final statistic. Over 37,000 deaths per year in the EU alone are attributed to hospital-acquired infection. How many of these could have been prevented? Thank you. <laughs>